everybody. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of what's happened between our last episode of the Nicolette and Chloe storyline and where we're picking up from today. First of all, Nicolette is now pregnant with Aaron and David's baby through artificial insemination. The idea is that Aaron and David will be the primary parents with Nicolette being the fun auntie, if you like. Part of Nicolette's past had come back to haunt her in the form of Audrey. Audrey was a friend that she used to work with as a nurse and the two of them used to care for an elderly gentleman. The elderly gentleman's family never bothered much with him at all. And when he died, they found a lottery ticket, which they didn't inform the family about, and instead they cashed it in and split the money. Audrey returned into Nicolette's life as she had been suffering from a terrible case of guilty conscience. Nicolette had spent her half the money, Audrey hadn't. And through Audrey's guilt, everything eventually came out in the open and people discovered that they had effectively stolen the money. Um, Nicolette had further run-ins with the son of the elderly gentleman who did try to coerce her into exchanging the return of payment for sexual favours. Um, but she is now awaiting a court case in regards to the theft. And finally, Chloe has also at this point found out that it was Nicolette that hid the necklace in Harold's cafe and was therefore the cause of Chloe finding Pierce red-handed in bed with Dippy. As a result, and also of the problems regarding the theft, Chloe and Nicolette have a great deal of tension between them and are not really getting along at this point. However, Chloe and Aaron's mother, Faye, has now returned to Erinsborough. Her Huntington's disease has escalated and she has come back to fulfil some of the items on her bucket list before she dies. Faye has insisted that Nicolette be her nurse, which has caused further tensions between Chloe and Nicolette as they're having to spend time together again. Faye isn't aware of all of the problems regarding the money and the necklace and pierce. And this is where we continue our story. You're worried that if Faye finishes her bucket list, she'll realise she might not have much time left. If you'd like me to move in just while your mum's here, all you have to do is ask. It's been such a help having Nicolette here. I'm a real handful. Can you believe she's giving us a grandchild? I mean, you must be over the moon. Yes. Yes, it's a very exciting time. You sure you're okay with this, Chloe? It's for Mum. And it's what she wants. This was lovely of Nicolette. Chloe's lucky to have her to lean on. I'm a little surprised you asked for me, given what happened with Pierce. I'm not holding a grudge. Life is too short, especially mine. Bad news? Just my lawyer checking in about my court date. I just can't wait for it to be over. Well, it sounds like Tippy was great. I wonder if I'll ever be that good at telling fortunes. Stick to drinking tea. Not reading it. <laughs> I hope looking after Mum isn't too much for you with all of this. It's the opposite. I didn't realise how much I miss nursing. Taking care of Faye makes me feel worthwhile again. How is your reading? It's fascinating. I found out all about my children and grandchildren's futures. That's why you wanted to do it. I need a favour. I love a top secret mission, but I must say this feels extremely dodgy, bringing you here behind everyone's backs when I don't know why. Then it's just between you and me. A little secret. Mm. Probably go soon. But before we do, I think we need to have a little chat about your meeting with Toady. I'm pretty certain you asked him to put me in your will. It's so lovely that you think of me as family, but Faye, I, 
I don't want anything from you. I know that. Now, I know I'm breaking client privilege, but uh, when your mum asked about Sonia, and she couldn't remember why she was there, I wondered if she was of sound mind. Yeah, I think she is. She just gets confused sometimes. It could be because of the baby. Mum caught the tension between you and Nick and she misread it as attraction. Mum's shipping us? We need to be clear about us. It's a sweet gesture, Mum, but if you're adding Nicolette to your will because you think we're going to end up together, you're right. You make a wonderful couple. No. I can guarantee you that will never happen. Well, Nicolette's still going to be part of the family and I'd like her to inherit something. Aaron and David are going to be the baby's primary carers so I won't need the money and it would make me feel really uncomfortable taking it from you. Well, if you're that opposed to it, then I won't do it. You okay, Faye? Hey, you've had a tickle for a couple of days now. Not, not really. All the same. Glad you give me a check up later. Fortunately, How long? A week or two. Maybe less. I'll, I'll tell Chloe and Aaron in my own time. Of course. Hi. Hi. Um, this was on your doorstep. It's us. Did you do that? This is amazing. It's really beautiful. Thank you again for the photo board. It was so thoughtful. Oh, another secret delivery. Ask Sheila to print out another photo. Yeah. Wasn't complete without the whole family. Thank you, Faye. Last call if anyone needs something from the camera. Uh, why don't you go with her, Chloe? You know, it'll give Mum and I a proper time to catch up. What is going on? I'm dying. The kids don't know. I couldn't tell them. 